And speaking of Valentine's Day, okay, so it's tomorrow, right? And as you know, Sweethearts candy is missing from store shelves this year. So no hearts with sweet sayings like be mine or I love you. Okay, so frazzled super fans are snatching up the last of the supply and other companies are offering special treats to make up for those missing candies. Looks like these new sweethearts will be harder and harder to come by this Valentine's Day. I am very disturbed that they would discontinue that product. The maker of sweethearts was purchased by Spangler Candy last year, but the new company said restarting production for this Valentine's season just wasn't possible. I was disappointed. I buy them every year for the candy dish for the kids. They like them. According to CandyStore.com, Conversation Hearts have been the top Valentine's Day confection year over year. I like the way they taste. And now, desperate sweetheart fans are bidding top dollar for last year's leftovers. Rival candy makers are hoping to fill the sweetheart void. Brox and Sour Patch Kids have ramped up production of their own versions of the hearts. Krispy Kreme is offering Valentine conversation donuts with phrases like all the feels. And Baskin Robbins is hoping to get a slice of the action with its conversation cakes. But for loyalists, buying sweethearts is a tradition that spans decades. It's 20 years. And this Valentine's Day won't be the same without them. It just made the present that much better when you could have a heart saying I love you. For now, the Sweethearts maker has a Valentine's message for its fans to hold tight until next year. Mm -mm -mm. I love those things. Those are literally my favorite Valentine's Day candy, and now I can't have them. So the National Retail Federation estimates more than half of Americans will be celebrating Valentine's Day this year, and they'll spend $1.8 billion on candy alone. But we know one person who's not contributing to that number. Chesley, over to you. Well